Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a quick and easy modification you can make to measures that show a percentage difference that's going to make them a lot easier to read. Okay, so let's get started. So this is a, a dashboard that I created and um, it's really just to display the year-to-date maintenance cost versus a year-to-date maintenance budget. Okay, and how, how are we progressing throughout the year? So we can see we've got some cards along the top here and we've got uh, a month-by-month -month cost versus budget and then we've got this tracker here that's, that's basically tracking the budget right to the end of the year and the cumulative cost as we go along and we can see that point there. So this here this point here, this 4.22 is this value here. Okay, so what it's trying to tell us is are we over or under our budget at this point in the year and by how much? But I went back and looked at it and I thought, well, I can actually improve this because it doesn't really spring out at you straight away as soon as you read it that that's exactly what it's trying to tell us. So the first thing is the title. So the title says year to date cost versus budget percentage. Okay. And immediately you've got to try and think about what that actually means. Cost, is that, and is that number there, is it a percentage of the cost? Is it a percentage of the budget? Um, but I haven't put the word difference in here. So already we're starting to kind of think and try and spend some time in cognitive load of thinking about what this number means. So the first thing I looked at improving was the, the title here. So if we look at the titles, and what I've done is, if I did, reduce the size of this title so that we can actually fit everything onto one card and I don't want it wrapping around because that's going to make it look um, unbalanced if one of these is wrapped and the other ones aren't. So I've slightly increased the size of the card and I've reduced the size of the text but I don't think it makes too much of an impact here and I've changed the wording so now it says year to date cost difference from budget. Okay so we're telling the person that's reading this, it's the cost and it's the difference from the budget that that figure is actually replying, um, is referring to. And I've taken percentage out of here because we've got percentage there, we don't need it up at the top as well. And then we have got the 4.22%. Okay, and I've done the same here, year to date, cost difference from budget, and we've got 20k. Now I thought, that's fine, but we can actually go one step further. And I'm going to add in a plus here and a plus here to indicate that it is over budget or if it's a negative, it'll be under budget. So if I go into this one here, that's above budget. Let's see if there's a negative here. Yeah, we can see this one here just slightly. It's under and we've rounded this to be the, to the nearest thousand. So it's going to say zero, but this one is just slightly under. So the positive just again helps. If I go back to to here, the positive just helps to get it really simple in your mind. Year to date, cost difference from budget or plus 4.22%. So how have I done that? So let's just go and look quickly at the measure that I've put in place to actually calculate that. It's really straightforward. We've just used this format function here. Let me make this a bit bigger. Okay, so I've used the format function and we have taken the total cost year to date versus budget difference and I've used this option here where you can actually format the, the the number and how it looks. Now you need to actually create a new measure for this because it actually renders it as a, as, or as a text type when it displays it and what I've done is used the first one I've appended a plus there and then this semicolon here it separates the format for a negative value and a positive value. So the first value here before the semicolon or the inverted, um, I think it's a semicolon, is um, yeah, it is, is the, the format of the, the positive value. In this example here it's going to be uh, a zero. So this zero here ensures that we've always got at least a zero and if the number is 4.5 we'll have 4. If it's 0 0.5 we'll have a zero. If it's 10.5 will have whatever the leading zeros are, so it's always going to be a zero or whatever the number is. And then after the decimal here, we've got this hash, and then we've got a zero. Now that's going to force us to have two decimal places, and it's going to show at least a zero. 
after the, for those two decimal places. So this will show the leading zeros up to that two decimal places. So if it's 0, 0.0, it'll show as 0, 0.0. If it's 0 0.1, it'll be 0 0.1. Now, these I'll leave a link below to um, a resource that explains how these formats work in a lot more detail because it is quite involved and there's lots of different options you've got. But it really gives you great control over what you are, how you can actually format these numbers using this format function. And then for the negative value, I've done exactly the same. It's just a negative and again, we're making sure it's got the one, at least one zero before the decimal and at least two decimal places and two zeros after the decimal. And that's all I've done. And then we've added that as the, the value here. So I think this has been extended. Okay, that's it back now. So I think simple, easy, and um, straightforward tip if you're showing a percentage difference make sure the title is got a good explanation and um, add a prefix a plus if it's above and it'll obviously it'll obviously show us um, a negative anyway if it's below but just makes it easier to read okay so hopefully you've found something useful here in terms of displaying percentage differences from a budget or a, or the plan or whatever and adding that positive if it's above and that negative will all be, all be displayed anyway if it's below them um, whatever it is like the budget in this example here and also really thinking about the the description and how easy it is to actually read that description and, and relate it to the actual number that's been displayed so if you found it useful it's always appreciated if you give, give the video a thumbs up and if you are catching us for the first time then feel free to hit the subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date with the latest videos which I tend to release every week. Thanks again and I'll talk to you in the next video.